like things in the rest of the world. We must not let down our guard. We are to retreat then. Isis thing is yours to wield. The simplest.
Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lesser Power, and welcome to my first Dragon's Dogma 2 build video. I'll be going over my current skills, augments, and even my equips. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and show my pawn some love if you can. His name is Lesser Power, but let's get into the build. First, we'll be going over my main skill setup. First skill I'm using is Dragon's Foing. This is going to be your main attack. It's also a homing thrust. This can be used in the air or on the ground. It's great for linking other skills to do combos as well. It's also great for reaching ledges you couldn't normally reach, but you'll mainly be using it to close the gap between you and your enemy. Next skill is Sky Dragon Feast. It's a dive attack that does massive damage and it also does magic damage as well. You want to use this right after Dragon's Foin for an awesome damage and a nice combo if the target gets knocked down by pressing the hard attack button. It also has a little bit of tracking as well so it's able to hit flying enemies. My next skill is Mirror Shield. This has to be one of the best skills for defense in the game because it can completely nullify all attacks. I think grab damage and fall damage still count. Um, it also lasts for maybe about 7 seconds but you can spam it as long as you have the stamina. It also affects your teammates as well but you need to make sure that you're close to them for them to be able to get the shield as well. It also is able to withstand the dragon's most powerful attack. My last skill is going to be Sea Ching Storm. It's great for flying enemies and enemies out of reach. This skill is good once it's fully maxed and does decent damage. But at low levels it can be lackluster so max it as soon as you can. Alright next we're going to be knocking out the augments I currently got equipped. The first one is Endurance increases your maximum stamina. This actually comes from Archer so make sure you level up your Archer. Um, next we got Thu enables you to carry additional weight this comes from your fighter so you need to level up your fighter to get through because towards end game it's basically hard to manage your weight because you got so many items next we got lethality increases damage dealt when striking a target's vital so whenever you hit a target's vitals you get even more damage and then next we got metal augments your physical defense so that's just more physical defense for my next argument, we actually got Ambuscade, increases damage dealt by attacks when the targets are not in battle stance. So basically when the target is knocked over or a surprise attack or stunned, you basically get even more damage. And this also comes from the Archer as well, so make sure you level up that Archer. Um, next we got Polarity, augments your strength during the day and your magic during the night. So during the day, your strength will be stronger and at night time your magic will be stronger. And there's one more augment that I'm working on getting and this one for the thief. And it's actually called Verve. It basically augments your strength so it just gives you more raw strength. And um, I can't wait to get that on my Mystic Spear hand. That's like the last augment that I really want on this setup. Alright next we're going to check out the armor that I currently got equipped on this build. Take notice this isn't like fully maxed out armor or anything like that. I'm working towards it. Once I get it I'll definitely show you guys. But right now I've got the soul of antiquity. The strength is at 689. The magic is at 596. Um, for my helmet I'm using the Gnostic wings. And this helmet looks dope on my character. Um, it's actually way better helmets that I could get. But I'm just running this for the cosmetic look. But the defense is at 311. And the magic defense is at 207. And it's currently upgraded twice. Next we got the Dominion armor with a defense of 405. And a magic defense of 206. Then we got the Dapper Chalces. Uh, defense of 378 magic defense of um, 217 it even comes with slash and strike resistance and um, a little bit of knockdown resistance as what as well as 64 next for my cape I got the legends mantle but this really doesn't add too much to the setup all right next for the rings we got the ring of skull duggery a ring imbued with power increases damage dealt when attacking foes from behind so whenever you attack foes from behind you get even more extra damage and you're always going to basically be attacking foes from behind anyway. And next we got the Ring of Vehemence. Uh, a ring with imbued with power. The wearer's attacks are more likely to stagger and knock down foes. So that way you can do your hard attack. Which turns into a special attack when foes are knocked down or basically staggered. But that's currently my whole setup. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for coming through and checking out my builds. Deuces.